Welcome back to our conversation with State Treasurer Deborah Goldberg, and we've been talking about the lottery and the state's finances. I want to stray a little off the track here, Treasurer, because I know you recently lost a family member to COVID. Uh, condolences to you Thank and your you. family. And you yourself had a rough bout with it last year. I did, year. before the vaccines. So what do you think of the way we, as a state government, as a population, as a culture here in Massachusetts, are dealing with the pandemic these days well there's COVID fatigue which is really obvious and as you look around in the last couple of weeks I would like to bet that I can't there isn't anyone who doesn't know at least three or four other people who have COVID either right now or had it in the last couple of weeks not wearing masks is the issue and masks protect us uh, one of the things we continue to do in our office is when people are in together we have them wearing masks. We've literally had people tell us that it has saved them from getting COVID. And there are a lot of immunocompromised people around, but I even know of people who are not immunocompromised, who've gotten very sick, ended up in the hospital, needing oxygen, have had lingering um, symptoms for actually years. And so that's, and it's been years now, it's incredible. And it's being left for in, to individual uh, decision making. And in our family, we've chosen to continue to be very, very careful. I did lose my dad. He was elderly. Understand that. But, you know, there are deaths daily. Yeah. And we have about, I'd say we're averaging around 1,500 cases in the state daily. And I think when it comes to your own family, if you've lost somebody or you could lose someone, that's your person, and that is a meaningful loss. Well, school's out for the summer for the most part, but we still have some school systems that require masking. It's been very controversial, very political. I do get it. Uh, but uh, otherwise, outside of that, uh, mask requirements have all been dropped. That's right. Do you think th that our, uh, the powers that be need to be thinking hard about reinstating some of those? Well, I think... The good news is, is it's summertime, yeah. and so people are outside, and that's really great. Right. Um, booster shots are going to wear off by the fall. Right. Uh, the question is whether or not um, there's a new variant, a new worse variant, and more contagious variant, and what we will have to address that. Okay. I think that you need to be able to be um, quick and make decisions um, that are in the best interests of everyone. I'm a mom. I looked at this as someone who cares about my family members, who cares about the people I love, my neighbors, all the people who work at our offices. I want them to be safe, and that's the most important thing. But less than a minute left here. We, I want to get back to Treasury business here. You've been advocating for legislation that would require the state pension board to drop the stock that the state holds in four gun or ammunition manufacturers. What's the status of that? Are they going to, uh, is that going to happen? Well, we haven't seen a response from the legislature on this. We originally were involved in a bill that was filed in 2018 after Parkland. Um, Here's the issue. I typically don't believe in divestment. I typically believe in engaging companies. I mean, climate is a perfect example. Uh, we are engaging with companies that have the capacity and the interest in going forward on climate change issues. But with guns, they don't want to engage. They even had a recent advertisement of a child carrying an assault right. rifle. Right. Uh, it's a small, the pension fund is $101 billion. We're talking about $2 million of stock. It will have zero impact on the fund's performance. And it sends a message that unless you begin to do things to take care of people, then you, we really don't want to be in business with you. Treasurer Deborah Goldberg, thank you. Good to see you. Well, invite me back soon. I will. I it's look a done forward deal. to it. Thanks a lot. Great to see you.